zippity doo -dah. Beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Now, as you can see here today, I'm, I'm standing here in front of the Magic Kingdom, in front of the castle here, the Magic Kingdom here in Walt Disney World. But what we're gonna do in today's video is actually this is not the video I wanna show you. Uh, it's a video that we did a couple of years ago. It was still when I was living in Los Angeles. It's right on the beach on, on Santa Monica. And what it's talking about is advertising. And when, when most businesses, especially small and medium-sized businesses, think of advertising, they, can, they think advertising is traffic. And yeah, that is part of it. We gotta have traffic. We got to have people to see, be able to see our message. But traffic is actually free. You can walk out in front of a, a, a busy highway and show a street sign and you can get traffic to your message, right? But what's really important is the message itself. How effective is that message for people to be able to respond to this? But what I'm gonna do in today's video is, I'm, uh, again, I'm gonna show you this clip of this video that I did a couple of years ago. It was done about 2011 in uh, Santa, Santa Monica Beach in Los Angeles. And how we generated uh, uh, about $15,000 in sales in about six hours I think it was we did 87 sales of one product and about 54 sales of another product in about a period of about six hours but we'll also show you how other businesses are applying it how uh, a, another business did a million dollars in sales in about 24 hours and how even companies like Disney American Express Walmart are using strategies like this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you this this clip it's about a 15 minute clip or so Hey everybody, this is Chris Brown again. I'm coming to you from Santa Monica, California. Now in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reveal the secrets of how to generate over 250,000 referrals in a period of six hours and how I was able to do that and how you can do the same thing. Now in order to generate a lot of sales very, very quickly, there's only about two ways to do this. First of all, you gotta have a lot of money, whether it's your own personal money, whether you got a business loan, whether it was done through venture capitalists. Needless to say, you need to have a whole lot of money that you can invest into advertising that will then generate a whole bunch of customers. Or you can use the strategy that I'm gonna talk about today that requires little or no money at all on your part. Now one of the reasons I came to the beach today is so I could draw you some pictures in the sand so you'll be able to get this, get the visual picture of all of this. Now first of all, you got company A, and this is company A. Let's look at that, company A. And then over here, we're gonna draw company B. That B is kind of messed up, but Company A and Company B. Looks a little clearer on camera than it does in uh, real life. <laughs> okay, so we got Company A and Company B. Now the way that this works, now let's say that Company A is a brand new company and I'm going to explain it in the way that I did this. So Company A is me, so I'm going to put my name down here, Chris. So we got company A, which is Chris, and over here we got company B, which is Joel. Yeah, okay, company B is Joel. Now company A, me, I was a brand new business, had no customers at all. Um, I already had an already established business, but what I did it was a total, in a totally different genre totally different market so uh, most of my customers would not join the become customers of this new company so I was it was a brand new health and fitness business and what I did is I went over to Joel who had 250,000 leads at that time 250,000 established customers so I made a one-hour phone call from me to Joel and we arranged a deal where Joel then would refer all of his 250,000 customers to me. And that generated, and now I'm not sure if he, he, he referred all of his 250,000 or how many of those that he really did refer to me, but what he did is he sent out a massive email blast to, to at least a percentage of his leads and prospects. And that turned into, I had two products. Uh, first product did 
eighty-seven hundred dollars. It's not a very clear eight. Eighty-seven hundred dollars in sales. And that was first company or first product. And the next product did fifty-four hundred. Each sale was worth about a uh, hundred bucks a piece. So the first product we did eighty-seven sales. The next product we did uh, fifty-four sales of that product, and that was only in a period of about six hours. So on Saturday, I, I launched, let's say, invested in a new product. It was an already established product, but I paid the investment of what I had to do in order to get started and to sell that product. I then, this is on Saturday. Keep in mind, this is Saturday uh, about, let's say, 6 o'clock in the evening. I called, had a, a phone conversation with Joel, where he then sent out an email blast to all of his, or at least a percentage of his 250 We won't put the whole 250,000, we'll just put 250K. So Joel then re referred a percentage of his 250,000 customers to my business, which is Company A, which generated 87 sales of the first product and then 54 of the other product, or $5,400 of the second product in only a period of about six hours. So I had this phone call conversation with Joel on Saturday. Sunday, he's about sometime in the morning, uh, he sent out a, a email blast to all of his leads and prospects, or again, at least a percentage of it. And then by 6 o'clock that evening, and uh, he, I would say he launched that or sent that out about noon. So by 6 o'clock that evening, I had the $8,700 of sales in the first product and $5,400 in the second product. Now, what I also had to do is company A, which is me, I then had to go ahead and pay a finder's fee or a referral fee to Joel and he got paid a percentage of the sales that I generated. Now there's two ways that you can do this. Now if I would have had a, a, a lot of customers already, what I would have done, there would have been no money exchanged. I would have just taken my customers and referred it to Joel. Joel then would have referred his customers to me and then there would have been a mutual agreement. Usually that, that the technical term of that strategy is called an ad swap. Now that might sound impressive, but I'm going to share with you another story. And we're going to look at company A again. And company A is Frank... Kern and John Reese. I'm just going to put their first names there. Uh, looks a little bit messed up, but Frank, Frank Kern and John Reese. And they establish relationships with multiple Company B. So it was not just Company B, Company B say company C company D and multiple relationships we'll just leave it at that they then negotiated a deal where all of these companies would then refer their customers back to their business which is company A and within a 24 hour period now hear me this <laughs> within a 24 hour period it was a thousand dollar product sent out by emails and this was all done by emails and in a thousand in a thousand dollar product and within a 24 hour period that generated into over a million dollars in sales this was the first time in internet marketing that that type of record had been set. It's been broken many times since then. 
through people in small medium sized businesses home based businesses and they generated a million dollars within a 24 hour period using this strategy now this big M is supposed to represent the golden arches of uh, McDonald's now McDonald's uses this strategy too so if you notice the advertisements that are placed on their uh, the packaging of different products they especially do this hit this really hard when they do the monopoly games okay so this N is stands for Nintendo so Nintendo PlayStation stuff like that so during the monopoly games what McDonald's does is they are doing using this strategy again and they're referring their customers to Nintendo now there is a uh, in California here there is a grocery store named Vons so Vons and that's there's Vons and what they will do is they sell the for California residents they sell the uh, Disney park hoppers Disney tickets at a discounted rate so what Vons is now doing is they are referring their customers to Disney Vons refers their customers to Disney now probably I'm not sure the type of arrangement that they have set up if uh, Disney is then referring some of their customers back to Vons or if they are just paying them some sort of a commission and I'm not sure how McDonald's works out their deal as well uh, I haven't gone that far they don't reveal that stuff but what they do reveal just by the way that they're operating their business and the stuff that we can tell as individuals we know that McDonald's is referring their customers over to Nintendo and some of the other uh, companies that are in the uh, monopoly games and on the packaging of, of McDonald's products mostly in the, on the on the bags and on the cups but these are all ways that they're using this type of strategies to generate tons of referrals now you can do the same thing now I've kind of just lightly gone over this uh, just more or less explain the strategy so when Toy Story got released uh, the last Toy Story Story Toy Story 3 they had some TV commercials joint ventures uh, some business relationships with Walmart so in the same commercial they were advertising both Disney Disney's Toy Story plus Walmart in the same commercial I think they did the same thing with one of the credit card companies I can't remember if it was American Express or which which company it is I'm gonna try to find those on YouTube's and I'll try to make some links in this video or put it off to the side I'll put it here someplace on this video uh, or on this page of this web page that way you can find those links and see what I'm uh, more or less talking about but like I said I'm just kind of revealing the basics of this secret there's a couple things that you have to do first of all step number one is you have to identify what type of customers or what type of businesses that you would like to establish relationships like this uh, for me let's say in pro star profits my business it deals with usually business owners that's kind of like my what I really focus on uh, providing products and services for other business owners but I have to be careful that the type of businesses that I would establish relationships that my service my products and services would not be in competition with them so for me a great partner a great business partner in this type of uh, of the word this isn't long-term business partnerships but this is just more or less a contractual agreement that both company a and company B are going to refer each other's customers or figure out what type of deal that we're going to do but and not my type of business I might deal with a insurance company a commercial insurance agency that uh, because my the type of we both have the same type of customer but we are not in competition with each other I might go to a bookkeeper again we might have the same type of customer but we're not in competition with each other so the first thing that you're going to need to identify is what type of business owners would you like to build a business relationship that's the first thing so that's step number one 
Step number two is to negotiate the deal. So whether you're going to send out some marketing materials, uh, preferably what I like to do is I like to actually walk into their place of business and meet them or call them over the phone. Those are the those are the strategies that I like to use, and uh, in our in our uh, program, the unfair advantage marketing program, how to never pay out of pocket for your advertising ever again. I do provide you with the phone scripts that I use, the same type of phone scripts that I use, and a lot of other successful businesses use when we try to make up these type of deals. Now, after you do that, after there's an agreement that has been made, then contracts have to be signed. Uh, that their company A is going to do their part and company B is going to do their part. Whether there's a whether company A and company B have an established group of customers, and we're just going to do an ad swap and refer each other's customers to each other's businesses, or one of these businesses is going to refer their customers to one of the businesses, company A or company B, and then like what like what I did with Joel. So with in the case with Joel, Joel referred me all of his uh, uh, at least a lot of his customers uh, out of the 250,000. He referred referred me a lot on um, that generated into $8,700 in sales in the first product and $5,400 in sales in the second product. Then what I did is I then paid him a referral fee for all the referrals. So basically like an affiliate program, a commission check. And then those contracts have to be signed. So there's only one, two, three. Uh, well, four, actually. First of all, you need to figure out what type of businesses that you need to do. Uh, you know, what type of businesses would would fit your market, the, the proper relationships. That way you're not in competition with each other. That's step number one. Step number two is to call them and negotiate the deal. Step number three is to have the contract signed. And step number four is to actually implement the deal. But I do hope this information was helpful. Again, on the right-hand side of this video, you're going to find our program, the Unfair Advantage Marketing Program, uh, How to Never Pay Out-of-Pocket for Your Advertising Ever Again, which will show you and provide you with all the tools that you'll need in order to set this type of a system up. But uh, as I just mentioned, I hope this information was helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye now. Okay, now down below directly underneath this video, you'll find all the tools, all the resources, everything that we've talked about in this video so far, and you'll be able to find everything down below directly underneath this video. So to go ahead and start putting this into action, just click on the links down below directly underneath this video. Okay, one more thing, stay healthy, have a great day. I'm glad I could help you, and we'll talk with you shortly. Bye-bye now.